What's up guys, in this video, you are going to learn how to make Pinterest pins in Photoshop. Photoshop is my preferred program for creating, editing, and doing any type of photo or graphics work that you can use for your blog or website. And in this case, we're talking about making Pinterest pins. So let me open up Photoshop and I'm gonna show you exactly how I create my Pinterest pins. The first tip and the most important thing that I would tell you when creating Pinterest pins is to create a template file, a file that already has the image size that might already have your logo and everything ready to go so that it's quick and easy every time you're ready to create a new pin. This kind of ties into the whole batch producing mindset that I talk a lot about on my YouTube channel. So right here you can see one of my Pinterest pins. This is like the most recent one that I made. So I'm gonna delete it and show you how I would go about making a, a, a new Pinterest pin. So I'm just gonna delete what I have right here and you'll see this is kind of what I start with with my Pinterest pin. I'll start with the image size. There's probably already a background selected, but I could remove that so there's no background. And I already have my logo and footer created. Over here on the right, you can see I've got these two folders. I have a folder for backgrounds and a folder for my footer stuff that it's very easy for me to manipulate and change. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. So it's how I would go about creating a new Pinterest pin. Let's say I'm creating a pin for this very video, how to create Pinterest pins. So this is what I would do. I would first come down here into my backgrounds folder and I'd scroll through and look on all these backgrounds to see if there is an image that I think fits good with this specific pin. So I'd look here and I kind of have a, an idea of what backgrounds I already have in here, but if there's not one that I already have or there's one that I've used a little too many times, then I'd probably uh, go online and find a new background image. But let me stick with this one right here because this has got some little pins right there. So I think that kind of applies. So I'd pick a background image, scroll it to size. Next thing I'll do is I'll change this little uh, color of my footer bar. I am really picky about this kind of thing. So I like to make things kind of flow and fit nicely as far as color scheme. So I might make this match the color of one of these thumbtacks. So see how this blue kind of matches these uh, thumbtacks colors blue. So after I'm done with that, I can close that out. I'm done, I'm ready to start making some text. So the next step would be create a new, uh, a new layer then I'd start typing text. I use the font Futura or Futura. I don't even know how to say that. And then I start typing. So I would do, let's see, what are we doing? How to create, how to make, and like I said, you can pick whatever fonts you like. This is just the, the fonts that I like. Get it in the center. How to make Pinterest. First thing I do is I just type out all the text. I know it's not in order, but I just get it all out there. Separate lines, that's something I like to do. How to make Pinterest pins in Photoshop. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. So now that I've got everything typed out, I can kind of move things around and make it look how I want it to. So this Pinterest part, I want this to be kind of, this is kind of the main point here. I'm gonna make this a different font. This is a font called Painted Paradise, whoops, that I really like. Okay, happy with that. I'm also going to make this pins that same font, Painted Paradise. And I'm just kind of messing with the size here. I'll zoom in a little so I can see this one a little bit better. How to make Pinterest pins in like that. Let's see how that looks. Photoshop. And this one, let's try Condensed Bold. Okay. So now another trick you can do, I'll show you how to do this really quickly is I can select all the text, I'm right again, I'm over here, if you can see me, I'm over here in my layers area. I'm gonna click the top layer, hold shift, click the bottom text so all my text layers are, are uh, selected. Then, uh, oh, sorry, I accidentally pressed save, sorry. So all those are selected. Then I'm gonna come over here, make sure that this uh, selection tool is selected. And then I'm gonna click this button up here in the top, right here that actually aligns all these. So if you see that, see how they align them all to the center? Then I can make sure these are all aligned how I want in the center. Now, if, if I want, I can, I can move things around. So I kind of wanted this Pinterest pins to be a little bit offsetting. 
Okay, happy with that right there, I think. Okay, so that this is this is the first step that I do, is I, I put up the text. Then is what I like to do is, I like to put some rectangles behind my text. And depending on what my background is, that kind of affects how many rectangles I use. So I, I'm creating a new layer, and I'm gonna draw a rectangle around this top text. I don't want a border, but I do want a background fill. Once again, I like the colors to flow well, so I'm gonna choose a color that matches this uh, thumb, pink thumbtack. So there we go. And I'm gonna do another one on the in and another rectangle over the Photoshop. Now I may not want all of these to be matchy match, so maybe this one, Photoshop one, I'll do that yellow color. Um, let's see, I think that looks pretty solid so far. Now is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group these rectangles into a new folder so that I can do a drop shadow on all of them at the same time. Now I can adjust the size of this drop shadow till I find something that I'm comfortable with. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then I can also play around with the text color. Maybe I want this how to make to be white. And I also want the in to be white. Okay, so it looks like we're good there. Now, if I want to do something with this Pinterest pins, I'm gonna group those and let's see what effects we can do with those. Maybe there's a nice little outer glow. I'm a big fan of outer glow. Yellow, blue. That blue that kind of matches the pins is kind of nice, but let me see what the yellow, pink. Pink actually might be cool if I change the text color. Let me see if I change the text color to white, what that looks like. Mm, maybe not so much. Let's try if we change the text to that yellow. Ah, I don't really like that either. I think we'll stick with black. But with the black, like I said, I don't know if I love that pink. I, I want a little more, a little more contrast. I think that blue looks, looks decent. It's not my fave. What do we think of the yellow? I think yellow actually might look a little bit better. So if this was it, I would be done right there. I'm done with my Pinterest pin. And then it's simple file, export, export as, and I would export that as a JPEG file, um, right around two megabytes, what you can see right here. And I would just export it as a file. So that's how easy it is for me to make Pinterest pins. And then, like I said, when I'm done making this pin, I just save this file. And then every time I'm ready to make a new pin, it's simply deleting all the stuff that I already did, changing the background, changing the footer, adding new text. It's really simple. This video, I mean, we've gone nine minutes till now, but without talking, without showing you, you can see that you can quickly create Pinterest pins in like five minutes or less. So I hope this video was informative for you to learn how to make Pinterest pins in Photoshop. I've got some links below this video. Um, if you're interested in Photoshop, or interested in some other videos about Pinterest, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I've got some more videos to help you learn how to use this technology to build your online business. Once again, I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. We'll see you in the next video.